Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of uh, Pancakes Plus, the uh, video series about all things breakfast with emphasis on pancakes and French toast. And for this video, uh, you know, f um, days are getting cooler and the uh, days are getting shorter. Uh, it would seem that Mother Nature's daughter Autumn is headed our way. And so with Autumn comes the holidays. Uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, what have you. And one of my favorite holiday desserts is pecan pie. And I thought to myself, it would be great to be able to rationalize having pecan pie for breakfast. So we have come up with a pecan pie pancake. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is help you out on a debate. Is it pecan or pecan? Now let me let me help you with that now. This is a pecan. You got that, Alex? That is a pecan. This is a pecan. Now I know a lot of you are saying it's actually a can of peas. Uh, not so fast, my friend. This is empty. So it is actually truly a pecan. Now, we could have come up with some other examples of pecan, but we are trying to keep this G, rated G. So now I hope that helps you out with that debate. First thing we need is our sauce. In this saucepan, I have one cup of water. To the cup of water, I'm going to add a cup of granulated sugar, a cup of brown sugar, uh, packed, one cup packed brown sugar, two teaspoons vanilla extract, um, fourth of a cup of corn syrup, oh, I almost said corn oil, corn syrup, fourth of a cup goes in there, and a half stick of butter. Now then, we mix this up a little bit. Turn the heat on to about a medium. Let this come to a boil. Then we cut the heat down and let it simmer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Let that simmer. So it'll come to a boil in just a few minutes. And then we'll uh, uh, we'll turn it down and let it come to a simmer. In the meantime, uh, better wipe this up. They say that the one thing that can ruin a glass top, stove top, is sugar. So we sure don't want to ruin the stove top. Let that come to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay, now then, in this bowl, we have one and one-fourth cup of white lily all-purpose flour. To this, we are going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And one fourth cup granulated sugar. And we mix that up real well. If you've seen our videos, you know that this is our foundation pancake mix. This is the foundation of all of it. And here we have, uh, where's that measuring There it is. There's that measuring cup. In that measuring cup, we have one and one fourth cups of buttermilk. One and one fourth cups of buttermilk. This happens to be the culture. And one fourth cup of canola oil. Canola is good. It doesn't have, a, have any flavor to it, so it's very good for using 
engine in, uh, cooking and baking. One egg. One egg. One egg. There we go. And we take this and mix this up. And the egg emulsifier acts as an emulsifying agent and allows the uh, oil and the water or the buttermilk to mix. And we've got a nice emulsion going on there. Then you take Take this part, pour it in here, like that. Mix that up until all the dries are moistened. And after they are all moistened, there probably will be some lumps. But you don't worry about the lumps. They will cook out. And we got all of that moistened up. And as you see, there are a few lumps in there. So do not overmix. Do not overmix. All right, now we need to let batter rest. And the way to time that best is to turn your grill on to 350. And by the time that griddle heats up, your batter will be resting. Now if you'll look here, you can see that this stuff is boiling like crazy. So we're going to turn this down to about three, to about a fast simmer. And we're going to let it rock and roll for about 20 minutes. And while we're waiting on the griddle to heat, and that to simmer. We're going to take a break and be right back. Alrighty, this has been simmering now for 20 minutes. So we're going to turn this off. Take it off the heat. And we're going to put in one and one half cups of chopped pecans. Not pecans, pecans. Now then, we let this come to a room, back to room temperature before you serve it. So you need to make this ahead, like a day, a day ahead would be good. Put it in the refrigerator, make sure it comes back to room temp before you try to use it. So our um, pancakes are, are uh, our griddle's hot, so we're ready to go with pancakes. So we're going to put on three pancakes. Number one. Number two. And number three. And let them cook on that side until they're dry around the edge and bubbles start forming in the middle. So we will come back in just a few seconds. And these are about ready to turn. They're getting dry around the edge here and little bubbles forming in the middle. Make that little fella is popping over like that. And again, take this one and put it over like that. Take the third one. Turn him over like that. And we're gonna let this side cook now. So we'll be back in a minute. And I think these are about ready to plate. So we'll pull that little fella off, put him right there. And take number two off, put him right here. And take the third one off and put him right here. Ah, if he wants to go, come on, get off. There you go, there you go. Rescue that butter. Put the butter back on you. Butter tried to escape. Not gonna let that happen. And our sauce that I made previously has come to uh, room temperature. You can see it's nice and thick. And 
looks a lot like the insides of a pecan pie. So we're going to just put some of that over that like that. Put some of that sauce on there. Make sure we get some pecans. And if you've got some homemade whipped cream, put some of that on there. If you have any of this pecan syrup left, put it on a bowl of homemade bluebell vanilla ice cream. Bluebell homemade vanilla ice cream and some of this pecan syrup and then just, oh my, my, my. If you got homemade whipped cream, that's great. If you don't, Use some ready whip, or as I call it, squirt them up whipped cream. Squirt the center of that on there. And there you have. There you are. Pecan pie pancakes from Pancakes Plus. This is Butch, and encouraging you to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell all your friends to subscribe and like it. And... Um, until the next time, we hope you have Heart of Dixie dishes from the Heart of Dixie.